by God's power, by God's mercy, we will see one day the faces of these little children. On 14 uh, April 2014, um, around 3 o'clock in the night, then my doctor, uh, her name is Grace, called me on phone, telling me that uh, some people are fighting in the town. And I say, some people, it's not some people, maybe Boko Haram come to your school. So you better run away from the compound. And she said, there's some uh, soldiers around us with weapons. They say they are the people that are looking uh, on us, not Boko Haram to come and adopt us. She, I told her that, no, you run away. It's not soldier. Soldier will not guide you in the night and call you all of you together. You better run away. And then they heard uh, the voice of the girl uh, saying uh, something to me, and then they collect the, the recipe, the, uh, the phone from the, her. Then I phone it again. It will not uh, answer. I call my wife to come and hear what this girl have told me. Then we start to cry in the night before some hours. Uh, in the morning, around 6 o'clock, then I take my motorcycle. Then we went to Chubok. We see that all things have been burned. And uh, I saw her, uh, some uh, uniforms of the girls uh, just uh, scattered. I start to cry. I look around the area of the school, no girls. There are nine children I have. Then eight is around. One is adopted. But when this thing happened, all of them have been crying, crying, crying for this uh, grace. And I also and the mom, we are just crying always because of this, uh, these things happened to us. The Bible is telling us that let us forgive those who have done bad for us, when we read it, then we uh, tell to our children, let us forgive. One day our daughter will come out, will come out, what I'm telling them. But in the morning they will ask me, where is the grace? Where is the, up to now, up to now, you are telling us that she might come, she might come. Up to now, she didn't come. Now we say, hey, grace will come. It's not she alone. There are many, they will come because uh, God will work on them. By grace of God, uh, by our brother, they're praying for us that nothing will happen to them, they will come. We are counseled and we are, we are advised, we are, we are comforted. In fact, I really like that. We are taught to forgive. You know, many parents, before this trauma counseling, they say, some people say they will never forgive Boko Haram. But as we went to that trauma counseling, we are challenged. Many people agree by that time and even surrender by saying that they have forgiven Boko Haram. So that counseling has really helped us. Forgive others as God forgives you. This is what the Bible is teaching. Whenever I remember uh, these verses, I used to say, okay, this is what our Creator has said, we have to forgive one another. And they pray for the Boko Haramis, that God will touch their hearts, open their minds and eyes. We don't have any tongue 
or language or mouth to express our gratitude and thanks to the whole world. All over the world, people are wailing. People are showing their grief towards the abduction of these children. In fact, we are having different color. We are having different language. But yet, people are showing no difference in this issue. We thank everybody. We are committing this problem unto them so that they keep on praying for us, so that one day we see the faces of these our little children. By God's power, by God's mercy, we will see one day the faces of these little children. <laughs>